Hello everyone, so today we'll be learning how to um, create a little timer like this that goes from 0 to 9 and then back to 0 again. It's quite simple, um, well relatively simple, but you can make multiple of these with slight variations across and you can have like a digital clock going. So we're just going to start with this one module and then if you want I'll show you possibly in another video how to connect multiple of them up. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start with a 8 long by 2 wide platform. Okay, so uh, you want to have 8 repeaters all on one tick with redstone dust behind it. And you want to um, place about eight blocks, which each of the repeaters will be pointing into. Now you want to get pistons facing the same way that the repeaters are. Okay. Now you want to come one block over on the left side and place a two tick repeater here, like that. Yeah. Now, um, pretty much what we're making now is a piston tape. So the actual tape I'll make out of blue wool, light blue wool. And um, this will allow us like to program how we want our clock to work. So if you want it, technically, you can make it go down from 9, as well as, um, you know, any random combination of number. So you can make it go 8, 4, 6, 7, you know, whatever you want. Now we're going to have some pistons pointing up here. And you leave a gap. There's no light blue wall in this area because we're going to be powering this pistons to push here, then that up, then across, then down. Okay, um, we're just going to make the input now really quickly. Redstone there, a torch. probably a bad idea uh, to do that. So you want a little setup that looks like this. A three tick repeater here, torch here, and redstone dust going on top of that torch there. Now your input is from this block, so you can hook it up to whatever you want. Um, well, later in the video, we will actually be putting it onto a loop so that um, you can get your thing uh, going at each one second. So you can make it count every, you know, however long you want. But I think one second is the easiest and the most practical, I guess. Okay, so um, we're going to be using Lime. Um, lime wool for this for this um, circuit, powering the top left and bottom uh, top right and bottom left pistons, and then the yellow circuit will be powering the bottom right and top left pistons. Okay, so um, we'll. Finish off the piston tape first. So build up here, and then a lot of pistons going across. Like so. So, now the yellow wool should come on top of these and just connect a bunch of redstone through the circuit. So that's the yellow essentially done. Now we just need to start the lime circuit. Okay, so you want to leave a gap here. 
place your pistons pointing downwards like so. There we go. Oops. Okay. Now, in order to connect to the green circuit, we're going to have the green coming through here. We'll put a four tick repeater so that it goes, it alternates. And these pistons um, place one tick repeaters in front of each one, and then redstone connecting them all like that. Okay, and then a two tick repeater going into which this will now um, power these pistons here. So place redstone on top of all of those green box. Okay, um, now we just need to finish off this light blue area and then that should pretty much be the piston tape done so because we've, this is the pulse shortener so what it does is it turns the um what would normally be like a long um if you press the button a long one second pulse this turns it into a quick oh, see that and so pretty much what you should see happening is when you press the button it goes in one cycle and it ends up just as it started Okay, now, um, one thing is that you want to take out all these now and replace them with glass. I just did it with the blue wool before, so it was easier. Now, um, the reason it's glass is if you're doing a, um, if you're doing multiple modules, which you might want to, this simply just connects those modules together. So what I will do later is show you how how that works. You don't need to put the glass in, but just for the sake of following the tutorial, tutorial just um, I suggest doing just so it um, works in with all the circuitry. It won't. The only thing that it would like affect is probably the um, dimensions of the thing. But apart from that, it should be fine. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create an output which I'll be doing using orange wool okay so I think um, what I always forget to do first because you should do this first is create your orange line here and you can you just want to place a repeater sorry one up <sighs> sorry about that needs to be one higher Okay, so you need to place repeaters on every second one. It doesn't matter which one, just as long as they're every second and redstone on each other one. Then you can replace your um, tape back. Okay, now you want orange here with the repeaters going into each of these blocks. Then you want redstone torches on each of these. So all of these should light up. Now, what we're doing is separating these so that, see, even though the outputs are all together, like in one row, you can, without the redstone, you know, um, tangling itself up. So here you've separated each of them and also equaled all the ticks because there's repeaters on every second one and now there's repeaters on the other ones. Okay. So that's pretty much the piston tape done. Now we're going to be doing the display, which is the thing that you know shows the numbers. So I'll be doing that using white. And then connecting the display to the tape, I'll be using purple or magenta. So you want to take... Sorry, I accidentally put a tick on that. Um, you want to take this out a couple blocks. Uh, doesn't really matter. I'm doing it so eight blocks across, then start um, putting together. Sorry. So 
you want sticky pistons for this and you want to place them here using um, like the shape of an 8 not sure if that makes much sense but you want to create like this kind of thing and you want to make sure that the middle thing is lined up with that so then it's easier to connect all the circuitry build across here up like that so then now you have the number 8 in a shape like that okay now um, you want to leave one block gap in between the pistons and this wall I'm using white wall um, if you have like a default texture pack you might not want to use this because um, wool looks kind of ugly on the default texture pack so I'm just using because it, it looks really nice on this one okay so what you want to do is you want to put this in front of this with one with one block spare on each side so you see how it's like how I'm taking it out one block on every side so above as well like that and you want to just make a big white wall that covers the dimensions of the 8 with one block extra on each side. So as you can see, that's what I've done here. Okay. There we go. So now I'm going to uh, connect all of these up. So we'll be using magenta wool for this. So we're going to start off by placing them on each of these middle pistons here. Then three repeaters on each one. Now you want to place a torch on the middle one and then two redstone on the side. Torch middle one, two redstone on each side. And then finally, torch on the middle one, and two redstone on each side. Okay, so now you want to uh, bring this back three blocks, because these will be where we are trying to um, turn off each of these, turn off each of the torches, because that will cause the piston segment to retract and you'll see the number kind of embedded onto the wall. Now you want to place wall blocks on the bottom and top of each piston segment on each of the sides. You want to bring that out to like that. Now here come down to the bottom one and place a redstone torch, the repeater, then a repeater and redstone dust like that. So that should all fire. And now repeater Torch. You need to block this off so it doesn't tangle. Do the same on this side. Uh, torch, repeater, redstone, and repeater. Torch, repeater, and then dust and repeater. Okay, and block that off. There you go. Now, like we did with those middle ones, we're going to take this out of three and place redstone on that. Um, not for this, just for the torches, sorry. There. And that is that. Okay. So there we go. That's um, that's the that will conclude the first part of this tutorial. I'll um do another part, connecting this to this, and then programming it so that you can see the numbers. And then I might do a third part showing you how you can connect these to more segments and um how to do all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did and you want to continue making this stopwatch, then um, please give it a like, 
and um, give part two a watch. And I'll link that in the description. So, uh, see you later.